Thank you very much for this opportunity to give the four minutes of our Torah for the National Council. This week we are up to Parshas Nasa, so there's a major focus in our Parsha on the portion of the Nazir. The Nazir is the person who takes a certain vow upon themselves that they're not going to have anything grape related, whether that be grapes or wine, grape juice, anything associated with grapes. They are not going to become Tame Mace and they are not going to cut their hair. Now the main word that's used along with every mention of Nazir is Ishki Yafli. This word of Yafli, that when a person takes this oath of being a Nazir and then all of the Halachos seem to follow from there. So the question is, what is this word of Yafli? What exactly is this referring to? The Eben Ezra has a fascinating approach to discussing where this word comes from and maybe what we can gain from this entire Parsha. Because unfortunately, often what happens is, is when we read the Parsha of Nazir, it's very tough to connect to. Maybe we've met a Nazir in our lives, probably not. But even if you have, it, it's just not something that we really can relate to in such a real sincere way. So maybe if we understand this word, Yafli, says the Eben Ezra, maybe we'll be able to gain a deeper understanding. Says the Eben Ezra, that it's very similar to the word umafli la'asos, the bracha that we make with asher yotzer, that people make multiple times per day. Rofeicho batzer umafli la'asos. What does it mean umafli la'asos? What are we saying in this bracha? So it says the Eben Ezra, Shulchan Aruch expands on this, the Mishnah Brewer expands on this even further, and it says that it's a pella, it's a wonderment, the fact that Hashem runs the body the way He does, that we have holes where, we're, where we are able to relieve ourselves, yet we're not leaking all day. We're very lucky that we're able to go ahead and have such incredible miracles constantly happening for us by the hands of God. This is Yafli, this is Apella, this is Mafli, this is what it's all about. Says the Eben Ezra, what we're saying with this episode of the entire Nazir, Parsha, is what Apella, what a wonderment, what an amazement it is to have such a person that's willing to take this oath upon themselves. Wine is something which people enjoy. To go and totally take that out of your life is a big deal. Look what people are willing to go ahead and do for God. So again, though, can we really relate to this? This is not something that we necessarily encourage people to do. So what exactly is our connection to the Nazir? Says the Imre Emes something incredible. Says the Imre Emes, if you look at this Pella, this Yafli that we're referring to, this wonderment that this person is willing to take the thing upon himself, it's even before they actually accomplished anything. If it's going to be such a Pella, we should mention Ishki Yafli after a year or so. Let them go and live a year as a Nazir. And then let's go and compliment them and call them a wonderment and praise them from today until tomorrow. But they didn't actually do anything yet. Just, they, they just made an oath. They just made a vow. Says the Imre Emes, this is the wonderment and this is something that we can all relate to. The wonderment is, is that someone was feeling a spiritual lacking. They were feeling something missing in their lives and they decided, I am going to try to take something upon myself. That growth mindset, that's the Pella. And I think this is something we can all relate to. Not saying we should all be taking Nazir vows, not at all saying that. But when we're able to take a real hard look at ourselves and think, what can we be doing better? Just a little bit better. What small improvements can we make to go ahead and serve God in the best way possible? This is the Pella. This is a wonderment to God. This makes just mound, moves mountains and clouds and Shemaim. This is unbelievable. This is what gives Hashem the ultimate nachas. And I think post Shavuos, this is such an important message because we go through all night learning and we're feeling inspired. We have the thunder and the lightning and the fire and the smoke, the re-imagining what our lives are like now that we have Matan Torah, the renewing of our vow with Matan Torah. And sometimes post Shavuos, we feel there's just something missing. We don't have that feeling when we stayed up all night. We don't have that cheesecake feeling. We're missing something. And it's an important time to be able to think, what can we take upon ourselves? And what's so important is that even if we don't follow through with it, just the taking it on itself gives Hashem such an amazing nachas ruach. That's a pella. So, Mr. Hashem, we should be able to all become that wonderment in the eyes of God, take things upon ourselves, and hopefully accomplish amazing things.